either because you're generally stationary to one zone, okay? So if you imagine when you are layering, you're pretty much confined to the back. And then when you go to the side, you move everything and come to the side, okay? Whereas with graduation dies, you're working, one section could run from here all the way through to the nape. So you could be working across two to three different zones in one section and using almost all your different techniques and factors. So graduation is a little bit more demanding from a technical perspective. Um, it may take a little bit longer than the other things that you've learned for it to sink in, but I wouldn't worry about that. Transfer a guide from the back to the top than it is from the top to the back. Okay, reason being is that the graduation starts here, not here. Okay, so if my guide, if I cut the top first and I transfer my guide to the back, but I'm not starting in the back, how am I going to get that guide to here? Okay, it's impossible. First, then ultimately that's the area that I want to start on sometimes as well. Okay, it depends on the haircut as well. But if I've got one area that is far longer or far bigger than another area, generally speaking, I want to cut that area first. That means I can use the one guide that I've, I'm going to create here to serve all of this, okay, before moving that guide to the top, which is a much smaller service area. That's one. Second thing that I'm looking for is focal point. So when we look at a haircut, guys, ultimately one of the biggest factors to determine where I begin that haircut is where is the focal point in this haircut? So when you look at the haircut, what is the most important part of that haircut? What is the part of the haircut that gives it the most life, vibrancy, and so on? Okay. Contour, find that point on the head where it's nice and round. Okay, so we can see that the contour is just through here. Okay, first section, nice and easy. Calm everything over on top. And then the same on the other side. Okay. Once we have that, bring everything to the top. Come through the sides, through the middle. Once I have enough tension, I'm just going to flip it around on itself. Go hand to hand in a clockwise manner. Find your point and then clip it in place. Go. Okay. Box section done. Weight. Lots of weight like that. Okay. And I say that off the bat because this happens a lot. Okay. I see people building massive angles in the haircuts. Okay. And what this causes is a sag or the hair to become heavy and the whole purpose of the graduation becomes void. It doesn't work, okay? Way beyond, um, beyond the head shape, okay? So what I mean by that is if you look at the comb flat on the sides here, do we all see that, yeah? Now, if you see the distance from the comb back to the head, okay, then that would be the sufficient weight that I need to build here. Okay, so if you look at the amount of weight from the comb back to the head, that actually is all the weight that I need to build for this hair cut to become somewhat square. Okay, you can see guys that the first kind of like one to two sections are very much in zone number one, which means that I'm not building any weight. All I'm doing is just reduce some weight or just managing the length okay so with section number one all i'm going to do is create a square cutting line as opposed to a triangular cutting line okay so my fingers are going to just come out from the head square shape no triangular um cutting line and i'm not over directing i'm just elevating from the head Okay, section number one, complete. Square cutting line, elevated from the base, that's it, okay? This is not on the contour, this is still a flat surface, okay? 
So same again. No over direction, just elevation. So I'm gonna just elevate section one to section number two. Okay, nice bit of tension using the fine side. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper on the micro elements now in a minute, but I just want you guys to grasp this concept first. There's the fine side of the comb, lifting out, fingers come behind the comb, and we're creating tension from the base. Out to my guide, check for my guide underneath, comb comes over the top, bottom blade on the bottom finger, and then like a guillotine all the way through the line. Okay, not lots of control. I'm just gonna pop that in there. So guys, really there's only one section here in uh, in zone two, because if you look at what happens next, pretty much the next section brings me through to the nape, okay? So where zone two finishes is where the nape begins. So zone three should happen right on that sweet spot where the hairline meets uh, the back, okay? See this tiny piece here is actually part of the fringe. Now keep that separate, and I know it's very. Look how small the hair is, guys. But that's how uh, this. That's how much you should pay attention to these things. That's actually on the frontal hairline, so I'm going to leave that. Now I'm going to over direct the top part of the section, and guys, I'm only going back. <clears throat> this is very important to the previous section because what often happens guys is people bring this back all the way to the start it's too much over direction what you're going to do there is build up a massive amount of weight so what i always tend to do guys is i'll actually elevate first so i'll bring the hair out from its position on the base and then i'll groom over the top and i'll just go back very slightly see there that's back one section okay fingertip to big knuckle and once I hit that big knuckle, that's a, a rough guide as that I've finished the contour. So now step once to the left, elevate the hair out. And on the bottom, I'm just elevating the hair completely out. Over direct, my body is standing facing the area that I'm working on. So I'm gonna over direct first, back to previous, okay? There's the guide. Fingertip the first knuckle, step in left. So round shape, and as I get through the nape guys, okay, because we're not looking to taper this, instead of my fingers coming flush and, and getting rid of the weight, I'm actually gonna elevate my fingers out, very slightly from the base, which means that I can actually keep the weight and allow some extra length in the nape, okay? That this connection okay, is quite long on the top, so we're happy to get rid of that. We're happy to flatten that down a little touch and reduce some of that weight coming over from the, the layer on top. Over direction, for fingertip to first knuckle. Then I'm stepping left. Take one step to the left. Elevate the hair out. There's my guide. Stepping left again. And I pretty much end up right in the back. And stepping left again. So I'm stepping left guys the whole way around the section. Stepping left. Now I'm elevating. Again, fine side of the comb comes in, I'm elevating off the base, getting my tension from the, the root, bringing the hair out, there's my guide, okay? Even creating the cotton line, I need to make sure that the, the bottom blade is on my finger, running along the finger to create a really smooth line. Okay, guys, if you think about the haircut itself, every haircut is just made up of like 20 or 30 cotton lines. Think about that, it's crazy, isn't it? So think about any haircut, Especially, I mean, if it's being faded, obviously, you know, there's a there's an element of the clipper involved. But if you think of your layer, your graduation, every haircut is actually just made up of like 
20 to 30 individual cutting lines that are all jammed together. You can see that it's clearly shorter here and look at the length we have up here. So if you look at that there is one strand of hair, look at that. Okay. And we imagine that it runs all the way down to there. Like so. Okay, so that there is graduation. Okay. very very technical industry now in 15 weeks and never gonna master anything but what I can promise you is that you'll have the best foundation on the planet to go forward and become the best you can possibly be from down here even though it looks like I should though look it's almost asking me to cut it here isn't it I'm oh, sorry bro that's close bro it's my fault sorry bro see this cut Looks like I should put it from there, doesn't it? Doesn't it? But the top would be very short, wouldn't it? Now, where was my section? Where did I divide the back from the top? Where the head started around. Where the head started around. So actually, if we look at that, if we look at where that short section is, and we take this guide, that's not where my section was to divide the back and the top, was it? My section to divide the back and the top was actually more like here, wasn't it? So I've actually already cut all this. This is actually part of my graduation. See? I've actually cut all this. So guys, what, I, what you want to make sure you do when you connect any section from the back to the top, when you're graduating, you need to make sure you find the longest of those short pieces. What you need to do is connect the section right where you divided it. Act that I cut and connect it based on that guide. Not based on a piece of hair that's halfway down the crown that just looks short so I should connect it. All right? It looks like you should connect it from here but actually you need to connect it from the longest of those short pieces which is actually here, right at the top. Because that was the last point that my graduation was. Now, Along the short piece, there it is. And guys, all we're going to do here is something square to the middle, and then as we get towards the front, we're going to create a very small triangular shape, but not much. Now again, what's going to dictate the way this shape is cut? What's going to dictate where I create the triangular shape? Head shape. So where the head begins to round is actually where I begin to increase the length. Horizontally. So the over direction is controlling my horizontal shape and my cutting line is controlling my vertical shape okay so let that sink in my over direction is controlling the shape this way 
which is as important. Okay, you can't just disregard that. And my cotton line is controlling my vertical shape. So two to one, and then a triangular cotton line in the front. low zero line and we're just going to fade it into that zero line and that will just give the hair a little chance to grow back in let's just flick that little bit of weight into that zero i'm not going to go up into this area at all i'm just going to leave that hair and it'll just grow back in in time very simple <laughs> Paddy's favourite piece of the pipe. Uh, Paddy, oh, damn.